<sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I'm not I'm not pussyfooting around anymore. I, I've got standards. I am serious from here on in. Um, I, it, it seems like lately I've seen too many people on social media and also in the live chat sometimes when I do live stream. Too many excuses. What did we say this season? No excuses. Off the back of last season, we promised ourselves before this season started, no more excuses. We need to get serious. We need to get serious now. All right? We need to get serious. I don't care about this project process, all of this. Whatever word you want to use, use. All right? I, I'm, I'm, I don't care two cents about it. I need to start seeing wins, and I need to start seeing a momentum of wins. I can have the odd you know, bad performance here and there. I can have the odd losses here and there. No problems. But they can't be the predominant factor. We can't be losing and drawing predominantly. We need to start winning games because we're in deep trouble. We're in deep trouble. We've lost all the identity as a club, whatever that was left during Roman Abramovich's era. It's all gone. It's all disintegrated. Now we need to start rebuilding it. Nothing seems to matter to the fans anymore. Majority of the fans, they, they care. They understand what I'm saying. But I see some odd comments here and there. Like nothing matters. Players do this, players do that. It don't matter. It don't matter. People just think it's just, you know, rocking up to a game and, and, and in the Premier League, the best league, the most competitive league in the world, you just rock up in the weekend and it's all going to work out. No, it's the mindset. It's the mentality. We've got we've got a manager who is saying he wants to win everything. He's got he's going to try and instill this belief, this mentality within the group that they want to win today, they want to win tomorrow, they want to win yesterday, they after tomorrow. And now we've got the same manager saying, <clears throat> under every answer, it's a process. It's a process. It's a process. What process, man? No problems. Have your process, but incorporate wins in your process. Be a lot more ruthless. I need to start seeing a lot more discipline. This kid, all of these kids that we have in our team, I need to start seeing a lot more discipline. So many fans going around saying they can do whatever they want to do in their off time. Sure. But check the environment. Look where we are. This is no time to just dilly-dally around. We need serious individuals. This is the issue. We have too many individuals in the club, all the way from the top to the bottom, including the players, the backroom stuff, all too carefree, too carefree, way too carefree. And I'm taking this job seriously, man. Because if you're taking this job seriously, we will not be where we are. We will not be where we are. Check this out. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. A mad reality check for all of us. 13 played, Chelsea, 16 points. Right? Four wins. Four wins. Have a look at Everton. <clears throat> 14 played, five wins. Everton have more wins than us. Everton, if they didn't get the 10 points deduction, they would actually be ahead of us. They'd actually be ahead of us right now. We need to stop the excuses, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Stop it. Absolutely stop it. Let's demand more. Let's demand excellence. It starts, it starts from this weekend. It starts from this match against Brighton. It has to. Brighton at eighth at the moment, 22 points ahead of us. We need to pick up a victory. There's no two ways about it. We need to pick up a victory. I'm done even talking about it's a must win. It's a must win. We say that every single week and nothing happens. As Saeed said, we always say, you must, you must, you must. And we didn't must. That's what's happening. We have to win convincingly against Brighton. I need to start seeing whatever the lads are doing in the training sessions, all the different pictures that the Chelsea admin pages always put out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I need to start seeing that in the ground. And for me, straight up, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to elaborate too much about this, but I need Nicholas Jackson dropped for this particular match. I need him dropped. I back this player, but lately he's moving a bit wild. Moving a bit wild. And that's not the kind of striker that I want leading the line for Chelsea Football Club. The striker that, you know, I can bank on to to, to score goals and, and give us victories. No. At the moment, I think his mind is in the gutter. I need someone who's focused. I need someone, all he thinks about is winning games for Chelsea Football Club. For me, Amanda Breyer starts. 
Nicholas Jackson is an individual who got thrashed by Newcastle last weekend 4-1. Literally 24 hours later, he's going out there celebrating with Villarreal, his ex-team and his ex-teammates, and celebrating with them. After him dropping an absolute pants of a match as well. This guy's got no idea. He's, he's got no... Uh, it's something I wouldn't do. I know a lot of you guys commented, oh, he can do whatever he wants. No problems. Do whatever you want. That's not what I want. I need someone who's focused in life. I'm not saying don't do all of this stuff and don't have fun. I've, I have had fun in my life. I'm saying there's a time and a place. We're in the mud. Chelsea Football Club is in the mud. And he himself as a striker has been poor. In fact, pathetic at times. And then what he did last night. It's not about, it's not more about what he actually did, the, the particular thing. It's about who he got involved with. Where's your common sense, mate? Where's your common sense? You lack common sense. You're immature. To deal with that person, what do you think was going to happen? That person, they exploit this sort of situation. You should have known better. I see a lot of people blaming that other person. No, I'm not blaming the other person. The other person is only doing what they're doing. I'm blaming Nicholas Jackson because you should know better. And on top of that, where's your focus? You need motivation. You need motivations for, with those type of pictures. Come on, man. This is Chelsea Football Club. There's no Villarreal. I need strikers who's going to be a lot more focused. That's all I'm going to say. Amanda Breuer starts for me. This guy, you know, no controversy. He starts. And we need to give him an opportunity. I like his game anyway. He's robust. The one start he had this season, he scored. I want to start backing this guy. It's not to say that get rid of Nicholas Jackson altogether. No. I think he needs some time off. I think he needs some time off. I think someone needs to sit down with him and say, mate, there's a way you carry yourself when you're a Chelsea Football Club striker. There's a way you carry yourself. You can't be carrying yourself like that. Mannerism, behavior mentality, mindset. All of this is important. I keep saying, I, I want to always introduce, you know, real life example. I'll tell you right now, if I was moving the way Nicholas Jackson's moving under my employer, my employer will have a sit down and talk to me. They will. They'll go, Miz, what's going on with you? Focus, brother, focus. What's wrong with you? You've got an important task coming up and you're more interested chatting up some other whoever. Focus on the task ahead. That's what my employer would say. I wouldn't even consider doing anything like that anyway. Because my, my headspace, my, my focus, my mentality would be purely on the job. But for some of you guys, apparently it's all okay. It's all okay. It's, it, it's, this, is, this is a bit too much. Means you're carrying on too much. No, no problems. You guys are all laissez-faire. Laissez-faire in life. Laissez-faire in life. No problems. This is why where we are. This is why Chelsea is where we are. Because we, we are easy. Nothing matters to us. Nothing matters. Madueke is injured. He goes out clubbing. Nah, he's allowed to do whatever. Right? He's allowed to do whatever. Mudrik takes pictures of people in the gym, in the band. No, no problems. It's all okay. Everything is okay. Everything is fine because that, this is where our standard is now. This is where our standard is now, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is fine. Oh, you're too harsh on these kids. You're too harsh, man. I need wins. I need wins. I need wins. This match against Brighton is going to be difficult. It will be very, very difficult. But we need to win. Brighton... They're in a bit of a slight momentum. Obviously, they'll be in a bit of a high. They've just qualified to the next round in Europa League. Kudos to them. Look, honestly, I mean, we could sit here and talk about all the different, you know, situations that took place last summer in the transfer and all the animosity. But at the end of the day, honestly speaking, I admire the way they play. I really do. I admire the way they run the club. I hate how we are trying to replicate them because we shouldn't be replicating Brighton's way because that, that works for Brighton, you know? That works for Brighton. They're, they're that type of a club. A selling club. We, we, we want to operate in that manner. Don't be fooled one bit. They've got a lot of injuries. But don't be fooled one bit. The way they play under De Zerbi, it don't matter who's there. It's very seamless. You can take a player out, put someone else in, and it will be very seamless. Because 
their philosophy, their way of play is ingrained in their DNA now. It don't matter. You can literally take out a McAllister. You can take out a Caicedo. You can take out a Mitama. You can take out anyone, Solimaj, anyone, and it will still work seamlessly because they know how that system works and every single individual knows their role. We better win. We better win. I don't even want to think about any other situation. We better win. Convincingly. I don't care how good they are. We better win con convincingly. It's time we start getting serious about these sort of matters. All right. This is going to be my team, ladies and gentlemen. I could care less about what Maurizio Pochettino does. I'm just going to put up my team. Um <clears throat> We've got issues everywhere. We've got issues from the goalkeeping position to defense to midfield to offense everywhere. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect under Pochettino at the moment. Things need to change quick. Going with Sanchez in goalkeeping position because I don't even know who the other brother is, Petrovic. I don't even know if he's a goalkeeper. Maybe he's a hologram. Maybe he's a mascot, cheerleader. I don't know. So for me, Sanchez, because there is no other option. We've got massive issues in the back line. Mala Gusto, ladies and gentlemen, is injured, so he's not going to feature. We don't have Reese James because he gave up on us last game. Our captain gave up on us last game. There are not many people talking about that, but that's also an issue. He needs to wake up as well. We've got Kukurea, who got himself suspended. He's been a bit dodgy in the last few games anyway. So, look, we've got issues in the back four. I think it's going to be Levi Colwell. Well, I'm going with Levi Colwell. As a left back. Well, do you know what? No, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. No. My team. My team. I'm going with Martin. I'm going with Martin because I don't think Levi Colwell is a left back. I personally don't think he's a left back. So for me, that does not happen. I, I don't actually mind playing Levi Colwell here. I don't mind playing Levi Colwell as a centre back. I think he's a solid centre back. I'm going with Thiago Silva because I still believe he's our best defender. I know there's a lot of issues. And I know there's people throwing many names here, but I'm I'm just sticking with this, Asi, because I don't want to disrupt what is happening in midfield. If people talk about Caicedo, people talk about Conor Gallagher, look, no, nah, I'd rather have them in midfield because I need to win the midfield battle or else I'm going to be eaten up. And Leslie Okuchuku, yeah, I'm not, I'm not there as yet. I'm not fully backing him at the moment. Leslie Okuchuku against Newcastle was also pants. But not many people want to talk about that either. But they want to big him up because, oh, no, he was half decent. No, I'm not here for half decent. I understand he's 19. I understand he needs more experience. No problems. You can get your experience off the bench. You ain't starting at the moment. I'm not about experience right now. I need to win po points. I need three points. I'm not here to give charity and, and, and you know, look after youth and their development at the moment. That's not about me now. Points, points, points. So for me, this I see there is no other option here. We could use other players, but I don't want to disrupt those areas. So this I see, good luck to you. May uh, may may God look after you against Mitama. That's all I say. A little prayer for this I see against Mitama. In midfield, we're going with Caicedo uh, as the deepest midfielder. Enzo on the left and Gallagher on the middle uh, on the right. I'm not going to disrupt this midfield. I, I need I need this midfield trio to 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 play well together, to car carry on with their chemistry. I need them to win the midfield battle. I need a midfield to control a match, for God's sake. We don't control nothing. We don't control in defense. Our defense is pathetic. The amount of goals we concede. Where's the where's the resolute defense? Where's the rock solid defense from Pochettino? Midfield, it's not like we control matches either. Sick and tired, man. So I'm not disrupting the midfield. I'm keeping the midfield as it is. We'll see what happens with Romeo Lavia. I don't think Romeo Lavia, ladies and gentlemen, will make it this match. He will. Um, they, you know, Pochettino did say that um, they'll have one more training session to see what's the case with Lavia and Nkunku. Look, don't bank on it. I don't think Nkunku is going to be featuring as well. Look, if anything, he might be in the bench. It might feature a few minutes. But Romeo Lavia, I don't think, will be there. Uh, and I think this is another policy by the club just to get us all excited because we keep losing and dropping points every single week. The only way to get us excited is by, oh, this player's coming back. This player's coming back. Man, you've tricked me enough. You've tricked me enough. No more here for the tricks. When they when they do arrive, we'll see then. Right now, I don't think they're, they're, they're available. On the left, I'm going with um, Sterling. And I'm going with... 
Palmer. And I'm going with actually, do you know, yeah, I'm going with Broyer. Yeah, I'm not going with Nicholas Jackson. Um, I could probably drop Gallagher and put Palmer in the middle and go with Mudrick, but then I think Enzo and Kaiser are probably going to get done uh, in midfield and get out absolutely outrun um, and then crowded out by by Brighton. So yeah, I'm going to stick with this and Mudrick could come off the bench. Um, as much as I like Mudrik, but I think this is the setup that I'm going with, ladies and gentlemen. Sanchez, Matson, Colwell, Silva, De Sassi, Kaisira, Enzo, Gallagher, Palmer, Sterling, Breuer. Let me know what your thoughts are with this lineup. I'm going with a Chelsea probably 3-1 victory. We should we should have a convincing win. We should have a convincing win. Actually, you know what? I want to see a clean sheet. 3-0 Chelsea victory. 3-0 Chelsea victory is what I'm going for. Let me know what your thoughts are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sick and tired of it. I can't be bothered about all of these excuses anymore. If you want to put some excuses, put in the comment section. I could care less. See you later. I'll catch you guys in the watch along tomorrow. Until next time, take care. Smash the like button if you can. That would be appreciated. Bye.